are set for this heavyweight encounter. Wes Sims already trying to play games with Bobby Lashley, but for Lashley, it's all business. In the sport of mixed martial arts, it's ironic that Lashley coming from the world of pro wrestling, I, I sometimes wonder if Wes Sims wouldn't be best suited for a role in professional wrestling. But Wes's height is going to work for him or against him, depending on how tall he stands. If he lowers himself, that jab's going to work well. If he stands up tall and jab, he's going to be flat on his back. Of course, the last time the world saw Wes Sims was on season 10 of The Ultimate Fighter, where he may have lost, but that's not official. The takedown by the wrestler Lashley immediately doing what Frank Shamrock alluded to the keys, and here he just continues to pepper the face of Wes Sims, who is holding on for dear life, but not defending himself intelligently. Only if you're 6'8 can you do that move. Our bar attempt. And he's got long legs. Lashley has to be careful, Stephen. Wes is trying for something I don't think he knows what by opening that guard and stacking up high around the neck, but Lashley he avoided it. Sims controlling Lashley's posture at the moment. Uh, judging by an opener by Lashley. I'm going to say, judging by the midsection <laughs> of Lashley's opponent, he should be hitting him right there. There again, continues to tattoo the side of Sims' head with those right fists, and I mean Lashley. All kinds of power, but again, we also talk about it in MMA. You know, it's not all about the physical strength, Frank. Those muscles need oxygen. Need Lashley oxygen. has to finish it here, Brad's going to town on West Sims. Sims has got to get his head off the mat because those shots are hitting his head. His head is hitting the mat. You know, West Sims providing the litmus test that Bobby Lashley needs. He's going to pound him out. Exactly, is he in his maturation as a mixed martial artist? He's going to pound him out. Uh-oh, got his back. Is he going to go for a something? No, he's going to ground him away. Lashley continues to tattoo Sims and, ah, uh, referee Troy Watt stepping in. I don't know, maybe a little premature, I would have thought, but uh, in any event, Bobby Lashley puts away Wes Sims in the first round, and Sims leading his case with the ref right now. I don't know, I, you got to give the fighters, I know safety is paramount, Stephen, give the fighters a chance to go out on their shield. You have to, but Wes did collapse, then stack back up yeah. when he was in elbows and knees, and that's not a good sign to the referee. Yep, yeah, he looked hurt. So what does this prove for Bobby Lashley now, Frank? Well, I just think it's a stepping stone. It opens the eyes. It opens the doors. It's, he's a contender, but he's got to face somebody now, I think, who's along that path of, of you know, 5-0, 6-0, oh, oh, someone well, who's got a record. Someone like that uh, is in the Strike Force pipeline on the Challenger Series, Shane Del Rosario. He's undefeated with a handful of fights. That's I think Bobby Lashley may be ready for a test like that. Oh, here's how it ended. Steven, you're right. He can't give his back like this. He went flat. He looked vulnerable. And that one shot behind the ear from Lashley, Sims went flat. He wasn't defending himself. That was a pretty good call by the ref, in my opinion. He looked like he was hurt. He looked like he needed some help. Money back. <laughs> well, here's, here's how it started, and uh, Bobby following my advice with that double leg takedown, ducks the quick right hand of Sims, and driving through, and while driving through, he's very good thinking here to try to pass the guard. West Sims' legs are way too big, and this stalling holding position, I've never actually seen this before. This was interesting. Bobby Lashley didn't even care. He just punched his way through it. Getting a free makeover. <laughs> is what the ref saw right on top of it. Look at the grimaces on Sims' face. He's half in, half out of defending himself. And it looks dangerous from here. One more look. Here's him giving the back, going flat. This is the stoppage, good stoppage. He needed to get out of that fight. I don't think he was coming back from that. Here with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy we Leonard have Jr. the time of two minutes, six seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Troy Waugh, had seen enough, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Bobby Lashley.